Home Invader shot in groin. That's what we're going to talk about on Daily Shooter. My name is Paul Gordon for New Shooting Self-Defense is Daily Shooter. Today's date is Tuesday, December 13th, 2016. Let's get on with the show. From ABC 17 News, the Maines County Sheriff's Department said a man was in serious but stable condition after he was shot this past Saturday night. The shooting happened just after 6 p.m. at a home south of Vienna in the 1200 block of Highway 63. Sheriff Chris Heitman said the victim had been identified as Walter Gray. Heitman said Gray showed up to the home of in a, a, off of Highway 63 where a woman has a restraining order against him. Deputy said the woman's husband saw Gray peeking through the window of the home. Heitman said when the husband confronted him, Gray allegedly made a threatening move towards the man, causing him to fire his gun. Gray was shot in the groin area. The Maines County Sheriff's Department said emergency responders arrived quickly and possibly saved the victim's life. Heitman said Gray is likely facing charges of ex parte violation, trespassing, and third-degree assault. He said the homeowner will likely not face charges. Heitman said a police report will be sent to, to the prosecuting attorney's office on Monday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this goes to show that even if you have the quote-unquote balls to do something as bold as attempt to break into another person's house while they're home, while they're armed, you might not leave with the same balls you entered with. Now, it is interesting that the man was shot in the groin. This would indicate the homeowner shot hastily or possibly aimed and missed the mark or really really wanted to shoot the guy in the groin or he shot to wound instead of kill. Now, here's a pro tip for all you folks out there that might be on the de defending end of a home invasion. Never, ever aim to wound, aim to kill. As a matter of fact, never pull a gun on someone if you aren't prepared to shoot to kill. Now, in this case, it's fortunate that the man survived, and we certainly don't wish death on anyone. No, we, we don't. We're not going to do that. But things could have gone a lot differently for the homeowner had this would-be home invader or infiltrator, uh, whatever he planned on doing there, it's uncertain, had been more motivated, or if he had been drugged out, or if he had been armed himself. So even if you have a reason to think, dude, I'm going to shoot you in the groin because of stuff, because I'm, I'm sensing that there's some, there's some relational, yeah, there's some issues here with the, him having a restraint, his, his, the man's wife who shot this guy having a restraining order. But be that as it may, yeah, don't pull a gun out unless you're willing to shoot someone. And if you get to that point where it's time to shoot, don't shoot to wound because you could end up getting more seriously wounded, if not killed, in response. Thank you for joining us on today's Daily Shooter with Paul Gordon. This has been Home Invader Shot and Groin. Join us on this same YouTube channel for the next edition of New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. That's right. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Also, you can like us on Facebook at New Shooting Self-Defense. And always remember your ABCs. Always be carrying.